The CLI is dead. The API is cool. That's not what I'm saying. That's according to Gartner. Gartner spent a lot of time looking at trends in the industry and this document, the Magic Quadrant for Data Center Networking, published on the 3rd of July 2017, gives us an idea of where the network industry is heading, especially in the data center. In summary, network solutions for enterprise data centers are evolving to support better agility and cloud architectures. It's important that companies evaluate multiple vendors and focus on comparing architectures, software features, and infrastructure integration capabilities, and not hardware specifications. There's a move towards software. There's a move towards APIs. So how does that affect you? This document gives you an overview of the current market and how the data center networking market is growing by 13% in revenue and how interface speeds are continuing to increase to 100 gigabit ethernet. There's been a large amount of vendor evolution and market consolidation with, for example, Broadcom acquiring Brocade, the IP networking division of Brocade being sold off to Extreme Networks, Avaya filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, HPE selling 51% of their H3C subsidiary, and Dell acquiring EMC. In other words, there's been a lot of changes in the networking industry in the last year. So let's get back to the market direction and things that you need to be aware of that affect you. According to Gartner, there's an ongoing move away from using device by device command line interface driven configurations toward a more centralized and more policy based mode of operation. Here's a very interesting statistic. They expect that by 2020, only 30% of network operations teams will use the CLI as their primary interface. That's down from 85% in the year ending 2016. Real innovation comes with the API because it enables complete automation of repetitive tasks and also integrates with higher level infrastructure automation tools that can leverage the API without humans being involved. Tools that you need to think about learning include Ansible, Puppet, and Chef. In other words, think about DevOps. Some technologies that I would recommend that you start learning if you're not already include Python and Ansible. Start at least with those two. There's also a shift towards software, as well as fabrics being the new normal. Analytics and intent-based networking are becoming more important at Cisco Live 2017, Cisco spent a lot of time discussing intent-based networking. There's also a trend towards open networking and disaggregation or white box or bright box switching. Two new companies that have made it into the magic quadrant are Big Switch Networks and Cumulus Networks. So in the magic quadrant for data center networking, the two leaders are Cisco and Arista Networks. The visionaries are VMware, Dell EMC, Big Switch Networks, and Cumulus Networks. Here are the challenges and niche players. So if you're a Cisco person, continue learning Cisco, but also spend some time learning Arista. Arista has a lot of strengths some of which are listed here in the Gartner document. One of the big strengths of Arista is APIs and orchestration tools and open interfaces and programmability. You can read more about the various vendors, their strengths and weaknesses, and other information in the Gartner report. But what I want to point out here is that Gartner are already predicting the death of the CLI and the use of APIs. Spend some time learning Python and Ansible as an example. Start learning about APIs such as REST APIs and NetConf APIs. The world is moving towards software. 
software is eating the world. So start learning about programming, start learning about open networking, start learning about intent-based networking. Networking is never dull. And I think at the moment, it's an exciting time to be in networking, as long as you're prepared to keep on learning. But that opens up a lot of opportunities. If you're prepared to, to learn new things, you can get further in your career a lot quicker. So keep on learning. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.